<laughs> hey guys, Sakura here. Check out Instant Gaming for cheap game keys. Click the link in the description below. Hey Jots, welcome back. Day 70 of the Racing Marathon Mod Week. Today with Midnight Club 2. <laughs> okay, for this card is the only starter card we have. Okay, are you ready? Ooh. <laughs> so the mod should change up the cars. I think they advance themselves and they are harder. So let's see how this is going to play out. It's a perfectionist simulator. I heard it a few times that basically you can't do a mistake or you're fucked. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with the handbrake? It flips over the car. What the fucking cops are those? <laughs> Lambos? <laughs> sure. Bunch of people waiting in the mall to get run over. Alternative uh, strategy, just follow the guy first and pass him at the end with the boost. Oh, wow, wait, fuck, how do I get up there? Oh, wait, here? What the fuck is this shit? I've never been in here. I don't even know this existed. They did not include it in the original game. This is edits. That explains the weird ass graphics on it. <laughs> LA Freeway. Ah. Ah, okay. So <laughs> it is actually even telling you where it goes. Oh, yeah, with licensed cars now. Totally forgot for a second that the original Midnight Club 2 didn't have licensed cars. I gotta say I'm not a big fan of driving up to... <laughs> driving up to the race start. Help Gina and get kiss from her. <laughs> so Russian. Final cops in LA and destroy them. <laughs> hey, every time we restart we get a kiss. Nice. Dude, that stupid truck is so scripted. <laughs> I always like that, you know, once you beat, you beat the event, like, the, everyone's crashing at the end. <laughs> Can we even follow Moro if we push <laughs> Moro backwards? <laughs> oh, we're already going. <laughs> you can drive over this data. <laughs> No, shit, the explosion actually has a radius. Uh, I thought I could get rid of the cop, but it cracks my car too. You know, like Midnight Club, but some pathfinding stuff is just a little extreme. Also, this user build content, like that ramp is so stupidly made too. Like the ramp leading towards the highway jump is not even closely pointing into the direction we need to go. <laughs> Yes, I honestly hate pathing like this, where it's like you I have no idea how you need to do this. And you have to redo it like five times. And especially like the very last part, to even figure out what you have to do. It's just unnecessary repetition. I'm, I'm not a fan of it. That's not good game design. Did I fall down the full level? I fell through the ground, man. Right here. Like you would go straight here right now you have to go it's still not good enough man you have to go even further to the right than this oh cops no i hate this <laughs> getting so wrecked by the cops somebody explained this mod pretty well earlier it's basically a perfectionist most mod if you make a mistake you're very likely to lose the race guys this mod is extremely difficult if, you, if you're looking for a hard mod this is for you whoa that's new the problem with this texture, it's hard to see corners. It really blends into each other. Take it as far as you can what? <laughs> yeah, I don't think the cars that start on top are in a good position to drive, man. Wait, what? The fuck did it just hit, man? There's an invisible wall. <laughs> Pretty cool. Panther said that this game was fun, but he never reached the fun part. <laughs> that was definitely fun, but I, I'll say the first playthrough of this game was really difficult. Probably shouldn't have boosted that. <laughs> Not at MC2, yeah, they actually changed pretty much everything. Completely new event types, new cars, 
The only thing that, that is the same is like this, we're driving the same maps. But the maps themselves have been used very differently. You know, the issue is these events are really, really damn long. So you have to remember a stupidly long event too. Like this is more, this is more a game of memory now than anything else. The mod is no joke. It's really difficult. If you're, if you're a god, in Minute Club 2, or if you just really have, if you just really like the game, you can spend probably days getting through all of these events. A quad? They added a quad to the game. All right. 23rd April 2025. What? What is that date supposed to be? Release date, Midnight Club 5? <laughs> this is for the next project. Ah, so he wants to bring out the next project in 2025. Dude, which project is gonna take you that much time? It's insane. Like, he wants to work four years on the next project? What the fuck is that gonna be? Okay, remember the day, 23rd of April 2025. You do not believe how difficult this, event, uh, this game is in general. No! You have got to be shitting me! So you basically, you wanna get in front and then make not a single mistake for two laps. We had quite a few races already where you did one lap correctly and then the second one we got wrecked. Honestly, who the fuck coded this event? You have to do it absolutely perfectly to win it. Like, we had, the, we had difficult events before, but this is insane. He's A! <laughs> Finally! We had, that, we had that earlier too, and the only thing that messed me up was that very last comp. Why are you slowing down so much? What? <laughs> hey, thanks for the win, bro. Actually, might be... You know, the thing is... I think... Yeah, the quad basically handles like a bike. No! Oh no! They are so fast in a straight line, it's bullshit! Why are they cars faster? Come on! Check out the mods if you want to try it yourself. It's fun if you like difficult games. But, you know, if you're the kind of person that gets frustrated from difficult games, this is not for you. This is for people that really like a challenge. It's, it's like Dark Souls, yeah. It's about perfecting basically everything you do in the race. Learn the fastest routes, and then execute. The Bro, we finally get our red golf. I have to concentrate so hard right now. No! Midnight Club 2, new challenge. Check it out if you want a really tough challenge. If you hate yourself, I can recommend this. <laughs> Done for the day, yep, yep. Seven hours is enough, so sleep tight. Definitely come back tomorrow for more. Absolute biggest thank you to all of you, and good night.